my name is Ashton Smith, a former soccer student athlete and current SOAR assistant here at Rice Athletics. I would like to welcome everyone to Night of the Owl, where we honor the moments of excellence throughout the year. Once upon a younger year, when all our shadows disappeared, the animals inside came out to play. When face to face with all our fears, learned our lessons through the tears, made memories we knew would never fade. One day my father, he told me, son, don't let it slip away. He took me in his arms, I heard him say. When you get older, your wild heart will live for younger days. Think of me if ever you're afraid. He said one day. To those shining stars He said go venture far beyond the shores Don't forsake this life of yours I'll guide you home no matter where you are One day my father He told me son don't let it slip away When I was just a kid I heard him say Our student athletes have not only been successful in their sport, but also in the classroom. We will now recognize all of the student athletes who earned a spot on the All CUSA Honor Roll. The next group of students to be celebrated are the All CUSA medalists. Students on this list have earned a 375 or better. Now presenting the highest academic honors. The Scholar Athlete Award will be presented by our academic staff. My name is Misha Kaler, and I'm here to present the Dr. Hubert E. Bray Male Scholar Athlete of the Year Award. Dr. Bray came to Rice in 1916 as a teaching fellow and eventually became our institution's first recipient of a PhD in math. He chose to stay on as a professor and was eventually promoted to head of mathematics. He stayed in this position for 24 years until his first retirement at the age of 70. During his tenure at Rice, Dr. Bray served in many positions critical to the Department of Athletics. He served as chair of RUAC, he served as a faculty athletics representative, he served twice as president of the Southwest Conference, and once as a member of the NCAA Council. In a manner of speaking, Dr. Bray made it his business for the voice of Rice Athletics to be heard. The Dr. Hubert E. Bray Scholar Athlete of the Year Award recipient is chosen from the pool of male scholar athletes who were honored in April. The winner has the highest GPA of all those honored. This year, the Male Scholar Athlete of the Year is a men's track member. He is pursuing a BS in mechanical engineering and his academic record is perfect, except for freshman physics. 
from Tomball, Texas and Weiss College, please join me in congratulating Corbett Fong. Good evening. Margie Sass became part of the Rice community in the mid-1960s, where she worked and attended classes as an art major. From that point forward, she devoted much of her life to the betterment of the university as a whole and athletics department in particular. Margie served as athletics department photographer for many, many years, and her creative works are still essential in illustrating the history of Rice athletics. Margie was also a founding member of the Women's Athletic Advisory Board and was heavily involved in the Friends of Rice Athletics Association. Along with Margie, this group played an essential role in introducing Division I athletics for women at Rice. Margie, I am positive, will be proud of all of you who are receiving awards tonight, but especially the recipient of the award that bears her name. Sponsored by the R Association, the Margie Sass Scholar Athlete of the Year Award is given to one female athlete each April. The honoree is chosen from the year's scholar athletes and has the highest grade point average. The 2021 Margie E. Sass Scholar Athlete of the Year is a member of the women's track and field team. I have had the distinct and unique pleasure to work and get to know her for the last four years. She's completing her major in kinesiology and hails from Spring, Texas. From Will Rice College, please congratulate Tessa Mpaji. Way to go, Tessa. Now here are the nominees for individual best moment. Now here are the nominees for Team Best Moment. Our next awards are the Female and Male Newcomer of the Year Awards, presented by our 2020-2021 SAC Executive Board. Hi, my name is Corbett Fong and I'm the Vice President of the Student Athlete Advisory Committee. I have the honor of presenting the Newcomer of the Year Award, which features a male and female student athlete who excelled in their first year of competition. Not only is this person being recognized for their contributions on the field, but also for their engagement and presence among their peers. Introducing the first Newcomer of the Year Award is Evan. Hello, my name is Evan Marshman, and I have the honor of presenting our Female Newcomer of the Year Award. This year's recipient is a freshman who played a pivotal role in the success of our conference championship winning and NCAA tournament qualifying women's soccer team. Now going into the national tournament, this freshman has appeared in all 15 games with nine starts, and in those games, she has posted an incredible five goals out of only eight shots attempted. Out of those five goals, three of them were game winners for the Owls, including one in overtime to seal the victory. Due to her awesome season, she was placed on Conference USA's all-freshman team. And lastly, a very cool stat is her first career goal came from her first ever shot attempt in her first collegiate appearance, making her one of only 10 Owls in program history to score in their first game. So without further ado, our female Newcomer of the Year award goes to Michaela Ferruto.
student athletes cannot just settle on one female newcomer of the year. They will also be a co-winner for the award. This person helped lead their team to a second place finish at the CUSA Championships. She swam first in the 100 backstroke, third in the 200 backstroke, and made it to the finals in the 50 freestyle. She also swam a leg on the medley relay. At the CUSA Championships, she scored a total of 82 points for her team. The 2020-2021 Co-Winner Award goes to Imogen Mears. Congratulations. Hi everyone, my name is Maria Budin and I'm the Secretary of the SAC. I have the honour of introducing the new Male Comer of the Year Award. This person is second on the team with 14.3 points per game and leading the team with 1.2 steals per game. He is second in the league in 3-point field goal percentage, connecting on 40.2% from beyond the arc and 3.03 pointers made per game. He has also scored at least 20 points five times, including scoring 36 points against UTSA the most points in Conference USA this year, while tying a school record with eight three-pointers to earn CUSA Player of the Week. Finally, he is the first player in Bryce's school history to be named CUSA Men's Basketball Newcomer of the Year. The 2020-2021 to Male Newcomer of the Year goes to Travis Eby. Congrats, Travis. We would now like to recognize our Head and Assistant Coach of the Year Awards, presented by our 2020-2021 SAC Executive Board. Hi, my name is Dia Eljardi and I am SAC Social Media Coordinator. I will be presenting the Assistant Coach of the Year. Honors are awarded to an assistant coach who makes a lasting impact on their team beyond their specific role. Nominations are submitted to SAC by members of the student athlete community. Over the last two years, Christensen has overseen a throwers group that have broken four school records. Under Christensen's guidance, the Owls have recorded seven all-conference performances at the CUSA Indoor Championship in throwing events over the last two seasons with three gold medal winners. Nick Hicks and Erna Gunnarsatir are coming off second team All-American performances at this year's NCAA Indoors Championship. In 2020, the Rice woman who won the CUSA Indoor Championships team title. Please help me in congratulating our 2020-2021 Assistant Coach of the Year from track and field, Brett Christensen. Hi everyone, my name is Jasmine Smith and I'm a part of the Rice Women's Basketball team and I'm also one of the Conference USA SAC reps for Rice this year and I have the honor of presenting the Head Coach of the Year Award. The Head Coach of the Year Award is an honor given to a program leader who has not only garnered athletic success but has embodied Rice's values. Nominations are submitted to SAC by student athlete representatives who vote on their top choice based upon athletic achievement, positive promotion of the Rice's athletic brand, and the coach's impact beyond the field of play. Under this coach, the Owls have appeared in the ABCA Top 25 on 14 different occasions over the last two seasons, qualifying for the NCAA tournament with at-large bids both years. They've had a combined 43-9 overall and 25-1 in conference play, and have had a total of 11 All-CUSA selections and seven ABCA Southwest Region awardees. This coach has also led the Owls to a pair of five set victories over the nationally ranked Texas Longhorns in each of the last two seasons. Rice defeated the number two Longhorns this season in Austin after beating Texas when they were ranked number three in 2019. She was named the 2018 CUSA Coach of the Year and 2021 ABCA Southwest Region Coach of the Year after helping the Owls to a 16-5 overall record in a perfect 12-0 mark in conference play, winning the CUSA West Division title. Please join me in celebrating the 2021 Head Coach of the Year, Ginny Volpe.
The Excellence in Rice Athletics Award is meant to honor an individual that has gone above and beyond their role to embody the values of Rice Athletics and make a positive impact within the athletics community. This year, we have a special privilege of honoring a female student athlete and 2020 graduate. In addition to her excellence in rice track and field, she was also a former SAC executive board member, a presidential intern, an educational content creator for the Youth Voters Conference, as well as leading a global online youth program. She's also in the action committee chair for the Owl and Task Force. For the Owl and Task Force, she ran an Empower Her Every Day series, as well as being a part of the NCAA Diversity and Inclusion Campaign. Please help me in congratulating our 2020-2021 Excellence in Rice Athletics Award winner, Michelle Foco. Our next award is the Leland Winston MD Courage and Diligence Award, presented by one of the members of our sports medicine team. Hello, my name is Patrick McCullough, and I'm the head team physician for Rice University Athletics. I have the pleasure of introducing an award named in honor of my predecessor and former partner, Leland Winston. Leland is a former All-American football player here at Rice who passed on an opportunity to play in the NFL to go to medical school, from which he then came back to be our team doctor for over three decades. Now that he's retired, this award was created in recognition of the care and support that he gave to so many Rice athletes on the return to play back from illness or injury. This year's recipient has faced multiple injuries and has never let it affect his character or personality. His trainer stated that despite multiple setbacks, this person never wavered in his commitment to the team and always returns with passion and a desire to push himself and his teammates. In so doing, he has continued to grow both as an athlete and as an individual whose resilience inspires others. On behalf of Leland Winston, Houston Methodist, the entire Rice Sports Medicine team, I'm pleased to announce that the winner of this year's Leland Winston Courage and Diligence Award is Harold Schumann III, but we all just know and love him as Trey. Congratulations, Trey. You know what else takes courage and diligence? Getting to graduation. Congratulations to all of our graduating student athletes and thank you for your hard work and dedication. The R Association is a permanent group representing and providing support for all Rice Letter winners. The 2021 Stancliffe SAS R Association Scholarship goes to swimmer Lindsay Mathis. The 2021 Stancliffe Ducket R Association Scholarship goes to swimmer Nicole Winberg. Earlier in the evening, we showed you nominees for individual and best team moments of the year. Now it's time to find out our winners as determined by votes by our student athletes, coaches, and athletic department staff. And the winner for individual best moment is... And the winner for team best moment is... Cinderella run for Rice continues as they upset the five seed West Virginia. What a win for the Rice Owls. The winners of the Con of Conference USA have made their first ever appearance in the Sweet 16. Time for the biggest awards of the night, the Joyce Pounds Hardy and Bob Quinn Awards. The Joyce Pounds Hardy Award is the top honor for a Rice female student athlete, and winning it becomes a very competitive endeavor. In honoring longtime Rice supporter Joyce Pounds Hardy, the recipient must produce athletic and academic excellence, be a true leader on our team, be involved on campus and in the community, and have the pursuit of excellence in the education and mind and body. 
Each year, the award recognizes the OWL's top overall female student athlete for her efforts in the classroom, in competition, and throughout the community. This year's winner is a three-time Conference USA Defensive Player of the Year, a three-time First Team All-Conference Player, and she championed her team to three Conference USA regular season championships, an appearance in the NCAA tournament, and a WNIT championship. This season alone, she was named a semifinalist for the Naismith Defensive Player of the Year, the Lisa Leslie Award, and the Senior Class Award, which recognizes the top student athletes in the nation. In the classroom, she graduated from Rice with her kinesiology degree and has been a three-time Conference USA Academic Honor Roll student and made the 2020-2021 Conference USA All-Academic Team. Beyond her accomplishments on the court and in the classroom, she has served as a volunteer for Reliant Pediatric Therapy Services, where she assists the therapist and was responsible for watching patients at the end of their therapy sessions. She has also volunteered at the Encompass Health Rehabilitation Hospital. In addition, her love for children has been evident by her involvement at Children's Hospitals and the Ronald McDonald House. Bryce Owls, this year's Joyce Pounds Hardy Award winner is Nancy Mulkey. Congratulations, Nancy. Hey, Rice family, Joe Carlgaard here again to present this year's Bob Quinn Award winner. Uh, honored to do so again. And, and uh, let me tell you a little bit about the Bob Quinn Award first. Uh, it's given to Rice University's most outstanding all around senior male athlete. It's given in memory of Bob Quinn, who was a well-respected Rice student athlete who passed away during an Atlantic crossing in 1930. Each year, the award recognizes who most exemplifies distinction in sportsmanship, leadership, service to the university, scholarship, and athletics. And I've gotten to know a number of uh, men who've won this award in the past, and they're all outstanding and great representatives of Rice University. And this year's award winner is certainly no different. Uh, he's a mechanical engineer sporting a, a 3.54 grade point average in Mech E. He's already been accepted into a, a master's program here at Rice, in, also in mechanical engineering. Uh, he is working in the nanoscale heat transfer lab here at Rice. Uh, and as an athlete, he's just had an outstanding career in cross country and track and field. A multiple time all conference award winner, uh, finished fourth uh, at last year's Conference USA cross country championships and qualified for the NCAAs. A uh, number of accolades in the distances as well, both indoors and outdoors, um, and a great representative of this university. So the 2021 uh, Bob Quinn Award winner is Jose Landa of Rice Cross Country and Track and Field. Now a message from our SAC president, Brittany Bowie. Hi everyone, my name is Brittany Booby. I'm a senior on the women's swim team and I'm also your SAC president. I would like to start off by saying congratulations to all of our student athletes, especially those receiving awards. As we all know, this has been an incredibly difficult year and the fact that our student athletes have continued to excel and find success speaks even louder for the amount of hard work and dedication they put in from winning Conference USA championships to breaking their school records or even making it to the NCAAs. One thing universal about sports is that no matter what you play, every athlete will always encounter adversity. This year more than ever, we have collectively learned how to deal with adversity and even excel despite the hardships we faced. Using what we've learned, both on and off the court, field, track, or pool, I have complete faith that we will continue to find success and end the year on a great note. Thank you so much and go Owls! And that concludes our 2021 Night of the Owl Award Ceremony. Thank you for tuning in and until next year, go Owls!